Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. Now, as you guys may see by the title of the video, here we're going to be going over some of those responses to the questions I posed in that entry form for our 25k subscriber special giveaway. And of course, running the randomization to see who is selected as our winners for that giveaway. Of course, it was free to enter. Entry period was June 24th through July 8th. These official rules were, of course, posted posted in the description and link to the full text in that initial stream. That is, of course, the Misty Opens Pokemon 25k subscriber special and giveaway. And, of course, there were some rules. So I just want to refresh on our rules, the meat and potatoes here, which is going to apply for those who will face themselves in the randomization, but needed to be a legal resident of the U.S. and Canada, except in Quebec, and need to be 18 years of older as of the date of entry. So the day that you entered, you did need to be 18. I will be messaging those who are in the top 25 of the randomization list in order 1 through 25, making sure that, of course, you do comply with the rules. I look through real quick, didn't see any duplicate names. Of course, all duplicate entries are disqualified, but made sure you guys didn't do it. You did have to enter that on a Google form. So Google was checking your accounts as you guys entered, but also do need to make sure, confirm that you're of course 18 years of age and in the US or Canada, except for Quebec, for those of you who do end up the winners. But I did give, I did give myself 10 days to do it. Now, uh, tomorrow, the 15th is the first seven days from that, that entry period. So getting to it's little not super quick but not super slow either and then of course you all as well do have 10 days to get back to me so if i don't hear from those of you who i do message either this evening or tomorrow uh if i don't hear back from you in 10 days going to assume that either wasn't just no contact just go ahead and go to the next person so uh, when i formulate the email that i'm going to be sending to you guys i will say something along the lines of uh, if you do not meet the rules outlined or if you do not reply um next person in line will be the person as the substitute for the prize winner. So now you cannot substitute prizes, no cash substitutions. There's a lot of legal jargon I had to put in these rules. So that's of course the giveaway could actually function. Also big notes is that the giveaway is not sponsored in any form by YouTube. That was something that YouTube really emphasized when running giveaways on their platform that you need to make sure that people know it's not sponsored by YouTube. That's throughout the rules. But definitely make sure if you guys see your name pop here, up here, make sure to go check your email. And then, of course, we'll also mention uh, your prize is approximately X place prize. But if people ahead of you don't respond, you may get bumped up and I'll let you know if you're getting, uh, you know, because there is one through, I believe, 10. Each has different prizes. Prizes 11 through 25 are all the same items. going to be one of those year one decks, the alley autograph and an alley sketch card. But one through 10 prizes one and two are quite larger and then there's some pokemon digimon mixed in uh with those other prizes the prize sheet of course is also the link to that is available in that original video description i guess i'll go ahead and throw right up there it's odd looking am i looking at myself in the right place no i was right the first time we'll link that right up there anyways so we're going to go over i want to see i want to start off with the encounter curious to see when you guys first encountered the channel as I was mentioning, I was expecting a lot of just people to put months, but some people actually did put uh, little descriptions, what video they found me in and things like that. But let's go ahead and just look through. You know, as people, I never encountered Titan cards before. That's perfectly fine. As long as you entered, that's all right. But I saw a lot of 2020 internet. I like that answer. A lot of 2020 answers. You know, early summer because of magic openings. Also, the Saturday live stream was the first thing I bumped into. All right. Very cool. Don't know exactly when you popped up and my scrolling, but it seems like over a year now. Okay. Oh, three months ago, somebody stopped by the store. Very cool. Welcome. First Saturday night live stream. Very cool. Came in around seven to 8,000 subs, believe before these Saturday night lives. Magic Gathering Strict Saving, first encounter, random YouTube video doing magic, personal breaks, hooked ever since. Uh, when you first started live breaks in the Star Wars collectible card traders group on Facebook. All right. Very cool. Early 2020, been watching vids ever since, was before the 10K mark. Star Wars Signature Series. One plus year ago, found you after watching other breakers. Really do like the channel the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Was looking for hockey breaks. Big sad for hockey breaks, but yes, for hockey still, I love hockey. Was searching for Vanguard Bang Dream video deck profiles. Found the openings and started watching and following from there. Cool, cool. Magic Strixhaven. Star Wars Holocron. 
mid-March. Oh, actually found me on Twitch. I think I see we saw another yeah, Twitch recommendation. Surprised to see a decent amount of Twitch recommendations. I don't really use Twitch personally. Um, actually, oftentimes when I see a, a Twitch stream, it's afterwards uploaded on YouTube. Uh, but I'm not certain how that search engine or recommendations works. So very cool to see that. Early last year, remember when the channel hit or passed 10,000 subs? Very cool. Looking for Strixhaven. A lot of people coming from Strixhaven. VIP Double Masters from Magic Gathering. Twitch, looking for card breaks on Twitch. Okay. Sometime last year, don't recall exactly. Remember, Rudy from Alpha Investments mentioned the channel. Wow, I know Rudy has stopped by before. Was not aware that I was mentioned in the video. That's actually really cool. Oh, yeah, the Liliana cosplay for Ultimate Masters. Looking for Marvel anime cards. Ah, uh, yes, the, the Thick Anime Girls, I believe, or Thick Waifu, something like that was the title of the... the. I can't even cheat. We don't have any more in stock. Fujimi Fantasio Bunko Weiss. There we go. There we go. There we go. Randomly on YouTube. Art of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Looking for Pokemon, suggested from the PokeRev channel. Ah, this person was rooting for the Islanders. Great series. It was a great series, though. It was a great series. Great opponent in the Islanders for the Bolts this past hockey season. Stumbled across all the Mandalorian Season 1 openings. Watched all of the Star Wars and Yu-Gi-Oh! Came up with a suggestion after I watched some sports card content. Ikoria last year. This one here, this is, yeah, I see, I saw this one. This is actually what inspired me to do a little video looking at him. I saw this paragraph here from Crispy Bacon. March 6th, you popped up in my suggestions with the Valentine's Day 2020 video with plates and patches football. Amazing editing and camera work. All the video, the uh, channel was so top tier in those days. And then on that day, it was Donruss Baseball. Got distracted by shiny cards. Saw the intro video, loved the dancing moves. And I said, I got to subscribe to this channel and follow this beauty. Oh, Crispy Bacon was number 198 or 199. Very cool. Been here ever since. Took you two live streams to catch on to my username. That is true. That is true. Crispy Bacon. I I, I, I thought it was... I honestly thought Crispy Bacon was his name. So I just said Crispy because, you know, I'm, I don't... Even with personal breaks, I don't say people's last name. I use the initials. So I just stopped after Crispy. Uh, but then it's Crispy Bacon. That is still one of my biggest flops, I feel. <laughs> but thank you so much, Crispy Bacon. Uh, Fujimi Fantasia Buko again, very cool. Tuning into live streams and other videos. Score football had some really cool boxes of score last year. This year, score didn't do as well for us. Didn't pull as much cool stuff. We did pull two Tua autos last year out of score. That was pretty awesome. Feels like I've been watching about a year now, plus minus a couple months, searching for card breaks, looking for prism. Ali's personality always makes the videos fun and entertaining. Thank you. Want to look at Peach Momoko art for anime. So look for an unboxing video. Interest in sports and magic. And one video led to another. Very cool. Ah, this person was shy. Wanted to be the first ever personal break with a box of Gypsy Queen. Should have went for it. Ah, uh, yes. First ever ended up being Charlie H with a box of Series 2 Hockey 1920 Series 2. But yeah, we did actually have Gypsy Queen back then. Did do some personal breaks of Gypsy Queen back in the day. But... Very cool. Thank you so much. Mystery person. I did I did just I was going to go through the list as a whole, but I did end up breaking it apart. That way I don't accidentally show anybody's information. I'm not as you guys know, I'm not great with editing here. Uh, there would be a way for me to block that all out, but I figure easiest way is to just just do here. Um let's see what else. Live case of Upper Deck Series 1, 2022 or 2021. Round release of Ikoria. Yeah, first time I jumped on the Twitch, that was last year, July 4th. Looking up Weiss, Breaking Star Wars Signature Series. That's cool. Around 3K subs, looked up live breaks, happened to be Saturday, so I was live. Hopped in and found out about Star Wars. Very cool. Signature Series, again, Star Wars. My friend brought, uh, bought a break, and while watching along, ended up liking how you open cards and interactivity with the chat. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Marvel Card Collectors Worldwide, shout out to that Marvel group. About six months ago, going down a rabbit hole. Not 100% positive, but pretty sure it was the 1920 Artifacts Blaster Box. That was actually the playmat. I said, thank you, Upper Deck. That is when we got package in the mail from Upper Deck. Um, PR department did have that Breakers mat I was mentioning actually in a video earlier today. Bittersweet. Bittersweet now with that mat, but definitely had a great time. Definitely was an awesome experience opening up that package from Upper Deck. Um, that was opened up off camera. Bossman told me about it. I, I came in, I found it, and I, I went out and I got a blaster box of artifacts just to celebrate and say thank you. So that was really cool. Watching YouTube, though I visited the store when I was in the area this past year. Stellar, Star Wars Stellar is always great. NASCAR video. 
SPX video opening. Oh, someone's friend let them know. Very cool. Looking up for Weiss Schwartz. Watching YouTube breaks. I won on eBay or Facebook groups, and yours was on there when I was scrolling through. Very cool. This person said a couple weeks ago, randomly found on YouTube. Hey, thank you very much. Suggested on Alpha Investments video. There's that Rudy from Alpha Investments. Searching for hockey card breaks. Random suggestion. Haven't regretted it since. About a month or so ago, looking for basketball, Revolution Basketball. Very cool. Been a fan since Mando Season 1 and Holocron. Love opening up Star Wars. This person found the channel looking for Return of the Jedi Black and White. Did do actually a full case of that. Parsed out the videos uh, two, two boxes per video, I think, for a six-part series opening up a case of Return of the Jedi. Pretty sure I just subscribed the day I found the stream, if that can be tracked. Popped up a YouTube algorithm because I was watching other Breaker channels. Very cool. Lots of people actually saying they came from Weiss. That's very cool. Very cool. Now, of course, this was only 310 total entries, so I'm sure there's there's a ton more people out there curious to know how they found the channel. But I'm noticing a lot of people came for Strixhaven from Magic as of recently, and a lot of Weiss. And just people saying they found on YouTube as well. Go Bolts! Hey, thank you. Game of Thrones. Looking for Star Wars. Flesh and Blood Monarch. Very cool. Very cool. Sports and Magic. Stayed because of Ali's personality and the great content. Oh, thank you so much. Now, what I'm curious to see, pull of the stream. This one has a little bit less text, so I'm going to zoom in here. As I was going through there, I was like, I don't know how actually good that was for you guys to look, but I'm trying to read a lot of it as well. Uh, but let's see, favorite pull of the stream. As I was mentioning, I intended this to be favorite pull of that live stream, but a lot of you did interpret it as favorite pull of the stream, just in general stream, like the channel as a whole. So I'm curious to see. So some of these answers you guys might be like, I don't understand. Uh, why you pick a jumbo Pikachu card. I saw one when we were scrolling through and that would be referring to the actual stream But that day, but curious to see WWE relics are cool. Yordan Alvarez Super Fractor. That was recently just loose. Just chilling top series two jumbo Box topper Harrison Ford masterwork the jacket the jacket. That was a great experience Starlight Utopia That was actually the first Starlight Rare we ever found on the channel when she pulled me a Christian Pache auto out of five from series one the Yordan Super Fractor. Tops rookie card with the three players on it. That was the triple SP from Series 2. That was really cool. Just one. The triple auto with Daisy Ridley did pull a one of one triple auto out of Rise of Skywalker Series 2. Most recent, see it to believe it, the Yordan Super Fractor. That was definitely something crazy. Someone sent their personal box, which is awesome. I'm really glad that you enjoyed your box. Uh, the first ever Heritage Baseball opening, 2021 Tops Heritage. That six tuple diamond, Scarlett Johansson. Uh, this person said, don't know yet, you're still alive, eh? That works too. This one, this is a good meme. And I saw this, my eyes glossed over it. I was like, I can't read this off. Um, but it was a big deck energy. Something. <laughs> this is either a Magic or Pokemon video, but I like I like memes. I like memes, but I also like being ad friendly. But I like that one. That was a good one. Favorite saying, got big deck energy. The two RPA out of NT. That was actually, I believe, flawless collegiate. Not quite NT. But did hit a very nice, it was jersey number two, collegiate jersey, two RPA. Oh uh, yeah, that Chris Hemsworth black diamond inscription said, bring me Thanos. It was an autograph number to 15 recently. This person filled out the form before opening packs. I see you cheeky little smiley face. Child Razor Crest Relic. Watch occasionally, but never remember the polls. Look for Minnesota hits. Not too many of them have happened since watching. That's true. Not sure if you mean Minnesota like the Wild, but yeah, we don't don't see too many Minnesota Wild cards here on the channel. Japanese Edged Foil Demonic Tutor. There's people waiting for Pokemon here in that stream. Harrison Ford Autograph Pull for Han Solo. Not from this stream, but I love watching all of these Star Wars Masterwork. Doing this at the beginning of the stream before you've opened anything, but the explanation for your choice in Pokemon makes sense. Congrats on 25k. Next 25k will fly by in no time. Thank you so much. I have no idea. I've watched nearly every stream, though. Sorry. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Never, Only a few I've seen. Baseball fans So that Trout sketch did pull for Sue Ann out of a Jumbo Box of Series 2. Crazy Jumbo Box. One of our See It to Believe It episodes. Did pull that Mike Trout sketch card. Daisy Ridley triple auto back. The Yordan just chilling. Yordan just chilling. The Harrison Ford. The Whooper. We did pull some Whoopers. My favorite Pokemon during the stream from some Vivid Voltage packs. This person had to do some other stuff during the stream, but we'll check out the VOD. Very cool. This person said, not not sure. Did this early. That's fine. That's fine. All the white shorts SP pulls. White shorts SPs are fun. 
It was fun watching many great polls. I appreciate all that you do. Thank you so much. Ah, yes, this was this was this was a good one here. The Gino Carano Card Dune one of one pen relic auto from Star Wars Masterwork. This person asked in chat if Gina had a pen relic auto, then we pulled it. It was crazy. That case actually had two pen relics. It had the Andy Circus pen relic and the Gina Carano in the same case. Masterwork last year was absolute fire. It was really good. Score box. I got specifically the printing plate. Oh yeah, we did play score printing plate this year. <laughs> the whooper on the whiteboard. I did show up. My allergies are killing me. So if I do cough, I apologize. But I did have like giveaway basics. I, I filled out one of the older whiteboards and I drew a little whooper. Said good luck at the bottom. The Ahsoka sketch and that live case, multi case of Mandalorian season two. Masterwork Pedro. Oh, the one with the border. That was a silver frame, number to five. We actually did end up pulling three Pedros out of Masterwork. Two wood autos. Or no. Two wood? One wood. One wood. Two Pedros, a silver frame and a wood. There we go. There we go. Figured it out. The uh, Lou Bob, uh, uh, Jordan, and Bobachan SSSP last year. This person says, well, I don't remember what caught my attention was Allie's honesty. I think it was a vid of trilogy. Appreciate that Allie does not pretend to be an expert in anything she doesn't know about. And is super honest and open about things she knows about. Keep up the great work and congrats on 25K. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, yes, the Saga collection, that repack product in the uh, the 11 by 14 Han Solo auto photo was nuts. Forceful Will, I, I remember we did in a personal, actually did a, a randomization for color slots at a VIP Double Masters. And I remember, I believe I know exactly who I'm talking about with the Forceful Will. Uh, I did a highlight, I just I used to do the hit recaps uh, every weekend. And then I just, I don't know, I stopped and then I forgot that that was a thing that I used to do. <laughs> But I was doing a highlights and hits and this person was saying, well, hey, my force of little foil was really cool too. Why didn't you put it in there? And I was like, well, it's, it was it was a sports focused highlight recap, but I remember pulling force of will. Unfortunately, not a borderless foil force of will, but it was a regular foil force of will, still a crazy card. And Super Fractor just pulled out a series two that that was the loose, the naked Yordan, naked Yordan, the Herschel Squirts t-shirt. Is this you, Anthony? Carry Price Auto. We did pull out of the cup. Cup, we opened a whole case of the cup hockey. Did pull a Carry Price Auto. Then also out of the one box preview box of Chronology Volume 2, we pulled a mini Carry Price. Watch mostly because of Alley, but I do enjoy the NBA and wrestling. Very cool. Very cool. Han Solo Auto. That masterwork one. Holocron. Ah, the Pringled Mana Crypt. Oh, that was so. Oh, that was such a sad moment. Such a sad moment. The Peter Dinklage auto relic recently, number seven from Iron Anniversary. The Daniel Jones missing, missing helmet. I think it was supposed to be a helmet relic or patch or something like that. Uh, first video I saw of the channel. Pre-release kit with the foil showcase demonic tutor. Thanos sketch from a Marvel box. Pikachu promo. See, this is the one I'm talking about. Pikachu promo. It's one of those jumbo cards from the stream. I pulled somebody a laugh for near Young Gun Canvas. Harrison Ford, Harrison Ford photo. Ah, yes, the Adam Driver Super Fractor in the 14 hour long uh, live stream. That was out of Chrome Perspective Resistance versus the First Order was a 2020 Tops product. That was that was crazy. It was one of the it was like 9:30 in the morning, you know, from the 7:45 p.m. start time the night before. 9:30 in the morning. I even said I am too tired for this, but that was awesome. That was for Wicked. That Adam Driver Super Fractor. Japanese Demonic Tutor, Alternate Etched Foil, and Alien Play Magic. Runner-up was the Stephanie McMahon Auto. That was recently out of WWE Women's Division, number to five. The Jumbo Pikachu. Any Star Wars or Marvel sketch cards? Padme won so far, but looking through past posts. Yeah, no problem. This person says the first time they encountered Titan cards in the cosplay. Thank you so much. Of any streamer video, not a huge sport person, but when he pulled that Peyton Manning card, was really cool. That was really cool. That was out of Panini 1 this year. In this video, we did have the Full Art Skyla. Ah, yes. These people from the stream. Stream-specific ones. The Full Art Skyla. That was probably... The Full Art Skyla was something I was really actually happy to pull from my personal collection. Tops Formula 1 Chrome. Ah, yes. The Red Ray and Kylo Ren Duel autograph from Stellar. The first Stellar draft we did last year. Uh, that was a redemption, so unfortunately, I, I think it's actually been... Uh, 
redeemable yet. I think it's still in Topps' queue to get uh, completed, but so we don't actually know what that card looks like in person, but that was a crazy, crazy hit from Stellar last year. Crazy hit from Stellar. Going with the only right answer, the Snoms and Whoopers out of the Shining Fates. Ah, Niv! Niv! Niv. We love Niv. Did pull a more Hiko VMAX, Snom, Pokemon, Skyla. Ah, the Mew Coin. That was a really cool coin that I opened up in the stream. Mew Coin. Classic Pog Slammer. Han Solo. Hulk sketch from Marvel cards, even though I prefer sports, but mainly when I snapped into the corner. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much. Full Art Skyla overall. Ever pull. Lightning Full Art. Your reaction was the hilarious. I did. I opened up the most expensive Final Fantasy TCG card ever in a pre-release kit for myself. My box of two one -on ones I mean, a box that I opened up on stream. I think we've actually we've had two boxes with two one -on ones Crazy. One was Tops Triple Threads. The other one was Panini Contenders Baseball or Contenders Draft Base. Contenders Baseball. Regular Contenders. Yes. We've had. There's two people. This could be MT or Sky's mixed bag. It's crazy that that's happened twice. When I think about it, I. That's happened twice. I've opened two boxes with two one of ones. And both baseball. Both baseball. Just got on tonight, but I like Boss's stack of hits last night. Cardoon was interesting to see pop up. This is in reference to Mandalorian Season 2. Most of the Cardoon sketches were supposed to be not approved for the product, but we did actually pull one uh, in a personal case of Mando Season 2, and I thought it was very odd. Authentic Prop Relic, The Child, the Silver 25 of 25 from Series 2, or Season 2 of Mando. Super cool, but for tonight, Skyla by far. Whooper the Mew Token. Whooper the Mew Token. Ta <laughs> ha! We'd have to be opening hockey. Come on, spot number two. I've wanted to be second before. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, spot number two for the prizes is the mainly hockey themed, Upper Deck Series 2 themed, uh, like Mega Box and some Jumbo Packs, things like that. And spot number one is Pokemon themed. These were all just retail acquisitions that I picked up over time. On sale out of five, so jealous. Lots of Mew coins, lots of Skylas. Cosplay. Enjoy watching anything Marvel, but I enjoy the Peyton Manning Panini 1, number to 5, Patch Auto. Harrison Ford. Out of Masterwork. This is supposed to be, I'm assuming they mean Masterwork there. I was, I was wearing the same jacket too. That's where the It's the Jacket meme comes from here on the channel. Harrison Ford from Masterwork. This time, Whooper. Snoms and Whooper, of course. Only caught the end, but Allie loves Whooper and I love Whooper. Know nothing about Pokemon. Enjoy your hockey and football breaks. Thank you. Ah, yes, at a flawless collegiate. Also had Nick and Joey Bosa dual autograph. Kylo Ren Super Fractor again. Geodes Havoc out of X Men Metal Universe recently. Favorite personal or favorite pull was my personal break, King USP on my first break. Favorite from the stream would be the Harrison Ford Masterwork. It was gorgeous. I don't really know. I enjoy that. Allie's the person doing the breaks, though. She's kind and genuine. Oh, thank you. Corpusalo canvas here out of hockey. Watching favorite breaker of all time open the cool collectibles that are center way. Thank you. Waifu binder. Ah, I did show off my binder of full arts in the, the video. This person said I didn't watch lols. Look, it's a valid answer. I just needed you to put something in the text box to enter. And that's perfectly fine. Nally pulled an awesome Emma Frost sketch for me. Jordan Alvarez Super Fractor Box Topper. The Daniel Jones, the missing, the empty relic. It was supposed to have a helmet piece, so it was supposed to be a helmet. Stream in general, love seeing Ali pull a Hayden printing plate auto for me and Padme sketch out of the same holocron box. If it's the most recent stream, I would say the Skyla Full Art. Very nice. Marvel Metal. Sean Monaghan, Green Dazzler. Green Dazzlers are hockey exclusive retail parallels. Stephanie McMahon, number five. I've not seen pulls yet. Works. Makes sense. Makes sense. The four snoms. Yes. I, I love seeing all these answers. Didn't watch the whole stream. Don't usually watch streams. But my favorite moments are when you did all my hockey openings and my Mario Lemieux synergy number to 15. Yes, that was very cool. Of course, my favorite video is when you pulled the Kess Daddy card. I still laugh rewatching that reply all the time. 
Oh my goodness, Cast Daddy. You can never live down Cast Daddy. You know I'm surprised when I do the polls, usually monthly. This month I executive decision the Niv, Niv face for the Niv mat. Uh, but I usually when I do polls and asking for people, channel members to vote on what they want for their new monthly emoji. I'm surprised Cast Daddy hasn't won yet, to be honest. I feel like we missed the prime opportunity for Cast Daddy and now I'm kind of safe from it. But of course, after, after this video here, that may change. Don't have a favorite poll, just watch because Allie's breaks are calming and relaxing. My Chris Evans. Did pull a Chris Evans out of 2018 Infinity War in a personal break this year. Thanos Inscription Auto, Bring Me Thanos, that Chris Hemsworth inscription of Bring Me Thanos from Black Diamond. Let me adjust this car. Uh, chair. Why did I say car? 8x10 Star Wars autographs. A little selfish, but honest. I have to say my favorite pull was my Dominguez Auto you pulled from my Chronicles box I bought for my birthday. It's my first online hobby card purchase. My pull or not, it's fun watching your reaction. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Don't know if I have one specific pull that I like most, but love that you guys do personal buys plus previews, and I appreciate your Break King's Break and eating the cost so we wouldn't have to. Harrison Ford Silver Frame seems to be a big winner here in this list. The Triple Auto Daisy Ridley one of one. Anything hockey or baseball, like to watch the personal breaks of high-end items to see what cool stuff others get. Ah, yes, the Pringled Mana Crypt again. Hey, thank you very much for the compliments here. And then some more stream-specific ones at the back. But that does it here for looking at these answers. Really had a great time checking these out. So thank you, all of you who did enter. Like I said, 310 entries here in the giveaway. Really appreciate all of you that entered. I know, of course, it was very specific U.S. and Canada, except for Quebec. So I, I appreciate those of you who did get to answer. I do apologize again, of course, to all of you out there who weren't unable to enter, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the channel just as much. And I hope you enjoyed this little, little recap here of everyone's favorite pull and everyone's first encounter of Titan cards. But now we get to the meat and potatoes, what you all have been waiting for. I copied and pasted the list and I went through and I added everyone a number just in case there's we, we see similar names, but also to make sure I can go back and get everyone's appropriate email uh, to go ahead and message, like I said, either we'll start tonight or we'll come in tomorrow on Thursday and get that started. Uh, and of course, please answer as soon as possible so I can get all your stuff shipped out to be done. But anyways, I'm going to randomize this list seven times. Top 25, I'm going to read off all your names. But as I said, I'm going to keep this list in as people either get disqualified for various reasons or do not reply, we'll bump people up. Uh, in the order of winnings. Because like I said, it was outlining the rules for non-compliance or non-response. We'll select, and I figured this is the easiest way to, of course, select um, alternate winners. But all right, so one through 310, randomize. Do, do, do. Ooh, I'm so excited to see. All right, like I said, gonna go through seven times. Again, do, do, do. again. Lots of scrolling. <laughs> All right, it's four. Now we're on five. Six. Oh, Noogie was on top for time number six. Oh, it's always it's always horrible seeing time number six because it's like, man, Valley just stopped at six. Ah, uh, Noogie's on top. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Time number seven, let's see that final list. Let's see that final list. And all right, I'm gonna zoom. How do I zoom in this browser? Zoom. All right, hopefully that's at a good perspective that you guys can watch, but we have, here are our top 25, so the 25. Here, Kevin and James with grand prizes, one and two. And Jacob, Bradley, Ryan, Travis, Dennis, Anthony, Derek, Kobe, Caleb, Andrew, Brett, Josh, Jeremy, Austin, Daniel, Matt, Andrew, Mark, Phil, Johnny, Benjamin, Connor, and Andrew. So we do have different Andrews here. Of course, like I said, keep an eye out for your emails. We'll be checking, making sure you give me confirmation that you are over 18. I don't know how I'd prove it, but make sure you write in the email, yes. And then, of course, U.S. or Canadian resident, except for Quebec. 
But congratulations to these 25 winners for the 25K giveaway. Like I said, free entry, not sponsored by YouTube. Official rules were linked earlier to that initial stream where it was all linked and given a abridged, more important, because uh, it didn't all fit in the description. As you guys saw, that document was very large. Uh, did have the this important highlights of the rules in the official document there. And of course, if you guys want to go check those corresponding prizes, those are also linked in that video stream description. But congratulations to those of you who did get these top 25 slots here, 25 corresponding giveaways for the 25,000 subscribers special. But I had a wonderful time getting this all prepared for you all. I hope you all are very excited. Hope all of you that entered had a great time watching that initial stream watching the channel hanging out and just like I said just having a great time here hope that you all are still loving things here at Titan and I really appreciate your guys' support now I know some of you in the entries are saying this is the first encounter well I hope you'll stick around and have a great time but that does it here for me today on videos congratulations to all of you here who are new winners of assorted retail products Digimon Pokemon Magic the Gathering uh, also some Upper Deck Series 2 hockey, and of course everybody does get those year one Titan decks, everybody does get an Alley autograph and an Alley sketch card. But thank you so much everybody for watching, that'll do it here for these videos tonight on the channel. Hope you all enjoyed everything, if you did make sure you hit that like button, comments, yada yada, go ahead and leave that down below for me. But of course before I get on out of here for the night, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond for your support. Really, truly do appreciate it. We have eight Black Label fans. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice seems to be going. Red Tide is absolutely horrible in Pinellas County. My mom was telling me that the city of St. Pete removed like 800,000 pounds of dead fish recently from the bay. And it's like, it makes my eyes hurt. It makes my eyes hurt. So that, that's been really, really bothering me these past few days. But anyways, back to our channel members. Now I can't remember if I said Black Label fans. We're just going. Start from the top. Eight Black Label fans. And then Bonnie Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Sultari, Sean F., Stephen Olifo, and Stephen Bly. But of course, we also have 12 Jim Min fans. Alberto M., Chicago Infinity, Chris Rivers, D. Von Dusty Archuleta, Jared Chigeek, Jake Rhino C., Joe Howe, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But thank you so much to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But congratulations to everyone here. Thank you so much for entering the giveaway. Hope you all had a wonderful experience. And can't wait to message you. I can't wait to see people being excited, seeing the happy emails back uh, with those of you who did, of course, win the giveaway. But that is it for me here tonight. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.